every moment that you are alive is the only moment that matters. a glass house and we throw stones trying to shatter walls that need to come down. We are all architects of negativity. Brick by brick of bold thoughts holding together bodies bound by blood but burned by love. So we let bugs into our house. And each infestation is a manifestation of our own insecurity until the walls come down. Be aware of the model you are building. Allow enough room for God. Give Jesus the floor plan. Let Buddha have a spare key so that he may open up the blinds when you are blind to your own light. Let your home be a haven for heaven, but dig deep if the walls need to come down. People, people are insane. Living like zombies, blindly walking, even stalking themselves. We stare at computer screens that poison our pockets and claim the key to a connection is really an infection of the mind. We are born with the breath of rhythm, yet we cut the cords of our connection and we find ourselves stuck between the intersection of freedom and ego. But which way will you go when your walls need to come down? I'm not perfect. I have been known to cling to clutter and sit comfortably in uncomfortable chairs. I have been known to obsess over obsessiveness. And I have been known to keep friendships when they do nothing but harm. What about you? What about you? fan the flames long enough for five o'clock to roll around. Well, this is not happy hour. This is not the time to sit sitting eight hours behind the desk of your own shadow. This is the time for a new revolution where love is the solution to the troubles of the world with weapons of mass reconstruction, rebuilding houses whose walls need to come down. People always say to live each day like it's your last. Why not live like it's your first? Come out of your mind like you came out of the womb and open yourself up to the beauty of unknowing. Be present in the presence. The future is now. And you wrote the book, but there is no price plan for prayer, no index for indecisiveness, you are here. And you learn to walk without worry when questions wash over you like memories and you wake up and realize you had the answers all along. Free to just 
be and breathe instead of holding your breath for death. You are free to just be and breathe. Don't hold your breath for death. To grab a hold of your soul and push you into another world of unknowing, people always say, Live each day like it's your last. Why not live like it's your first? to be beautiful and grow old gracefully without putting cobwebs in the back of your mind and be aware when your walls need to come down because even in caged darkness we are blooming as demons attempt to erect shadows on the day we are breathing and burning light Above the swift, unflinching weight of time, our feet dangle over the edge like children, and we are learning how to love. And even in the sour exile of death, our skin is soft, and our souls sweeten a memory. And at this very moment, baby is being born and knows what it feels like to be completely and utterly free of walls that need 